All you got to do is type this into your browser on your phone. It will bring up the secret hacking experiment page. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. Today I want to show you a quick fix to a problem that's been bugging the hell out of me recently. And no, I'm not talking about the memory issues with Chrome. I use Chrome on my computer ever since it was launched like way, way back in like 2008 or 2009. I prefer it over Safari, Firefox or any other browser. And yes, that includes Netscape Navigator. And it's the same scenario with my phone. I prefer it over any other browser like the built-in Safari. That's just my preference. Feel free to tell me why Chrome sucks down below. For some inexplicable reason, Google has made a small change to the G search button on the iOS device, which makes it infuriating to use. I'll explain shortly. I don't have an Android device. Maybe someone can let me know if it's the same case. So here's the thing. As you may already know, in the past, if you press this button, it will jump straight to the search bar. Long press or 3D touch on the iPhone brings up the QR code scanner or the voice search function. If I need a new tab, there's already the dedicated button uh, right next to it. By long pressing or 3D touch allows you to add a new tab, close or open a new incognito tab as well. By the way, if you're stuck at home right now and don't know what to watch, may I suggest classic titles like Shaving Ryan's Private and Missionary Impossible. Now here's the problem. No, I don't mean the movie t t titles. Uh, Google has quietly changed the G to a plus symbol with the latest update. At first, I thought it's just a design change, but oh no, it's far more sinister than that. If you press the button now, it will open a new tab, which is strange because we already had the dedicated tab button as well as the option to slide down to open tabs in the past already. So I don't really know why we need the third button to open even more tabs to do a search. So here's how it works. You have to long press or 3D touch the plus button, wait for the pop-up menu, select search, wait for a new tab to open, wait for the search bar to activate and wait for the keyboard to pop up so you can do a new search. Now, you could say that why don't I just press the search bar at the top? Well, I find it quite awkward and difficult, especially on a larger phone and fiddling around with it. Like, uh, so it's much easier to press the search button at the bottom, especially if you're holding the phone single-handedly, watching those intense movie titles that I've recommended previously. It just makes much more sense in the past having the search button at the bottom where the keyboard is just going to pop up from the bottom anyway. So without the need to shuffle around and open like a million tabs in the process. So I don't really know why Google has made this change. Not to mention all the extra blank tabs you're going to end up having open and you're going to have to close it all one by one if you want to keep things tidy. Why the extra steps? Why do I have to open a million tabs to do a new search each time? Why did Milhouse have the ball if he didn't own a goldfish? I wonder how many people got that reference. Okay, okay, you've listened to me rant long enough and I've got a quick fix for you and it's very simple. All you gotta do is type this into your browser on your phone. It will bring up the secret hacking experiment page. But before we continue, just a quick word of advice. It does warn you about the risk of losing your data as well as some privacy issues. So just be aware of that. Use at your own discretion. Scroll down to the bottom or search for enable new tab at the bottom toolbar. At the moment, it should be selected as default. Uh, change it to disabled, close down the app fully and relaunch it and everything should be like how it was before. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please feel free to share it with anyone else who might benefit from this fix or they are stuck with this problem. Thank you very much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.